Welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get started, I would just like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Artist Corporate Fiction for sending me this new Right to Travel video. So please head on over and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. He does some wonderful breakdowns on sovereign citizens, he's a lawyer and I've learned a lot from him over the years, so a link to his channel will be in the description below. Right, this stop comes out of Lower Providence, Pennsylvania and he's already given the officer one of those cards stating he's right and it sounds like he has one of those private plates on his car too, which is the reason for the stop. Right, let's get into the video. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit mute so you can't hear us. All right. Oh yeah, before he was stopped, he was on a conference call with his private members association, basically one of those sovereign citizen groups who coach you during stops over the phone and promise to get you out of traffic tickets and the need for a driver's license, etc. You know, with their shenanigans, which, as we all know, don't work. And that's who we can hear in the background still on the line. Hey, how you doing today, sir? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? Good. What's the license plate for? Statement for police. Exercise your rights card. The police You're being audio you? video recorded, just so What's you know. What's that? You're being audio and video recorded, just so you know. Alright, no problem. Do you have a driver's license with you? I don't, I don't, I'm not offering any uh, incriminating information. You so what? I'm not going to offer any incriminating information. What's okay. uh, what's the issue? Well, the issue is you're I'm driving without for... a driver's license. No, uh, I... License plate on your vehicle, I need a driver's license, please. Uh, for what purpose, sir? Okay. That's not so true. I'm not in commerce right now. I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. You what? I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. You what? I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. Do you understand That's what that means? Accident. You have a, a license for the duty of commerce. Yeah, do you understand what that means? No. You don't? No. But you're pursuing, <laughs> you're pursuing people on the highway of your own accord. Right, so you're driving down the street. You know, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. Yeah. Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. The uh, officers have no duty to protect the public. You only have a duty to protect the rights of, the, of men and women. So right now you have no judicial immunity if you move forward with anything because I'm not in commerce. No, that's not what Castle Rock v. Gonzalez says. The ruling states the police have no constitutional obligation to protect individuals absent a special relationship and instead have a duty to protect the people as a whole. I will drop a link to the full case down in the description if you would like to read it yourself so you can see why this guy is wrong. And I don't... Can we have his name? Can we have his name? Do you know your name? Sure, it's Officer Barber. No, no that's, a, that's a title. That's a title. I need your full name. Sure, no problem, sir. It's Officer Barber from Lower Providence Police. Okay. Can I have your name, please? No, you have his... Can you have his first name? Your... What's your first name? Matthew. Matthew? Yep. Okay, would he like to be appointed fiduciary mm -hmm. trustee? Matthew Barber, stop looking around my car, please. No, everything's in plain view right here. Okay, well, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong. Uh, Matthew Barber, what's your... Badge number 60. That's title. Okay. All right. Uh, Matthew Bar. Uh, middle name. So listen. Do you mm -hmm. have your driver's license with you? You're not driving. You're traveling. I'm traveling. Okay. Well, if you're traveling on the highway, you need to have a driver's license, right? Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Do you have insurance for the vehicle? Sir. Do you have you're everything that I need? I have everything that I need okay, legitimately for commerce. For the vehicle. It's here. This okay. is my insurance information. Perfect. Okay. I, I'm not. Can I have your insurance information, please? Okay. I, I'm not. I'm not. I need to make sure your insurance information. I'm insured. Is valid so you can continue on your travels, sir. I do not consent sir. to contract. Sir, I don't consent to contract. I'm already. I'm legit. I'm legit. I don't know that. Okay. But, I don't what crime am I? Are. What crime am I? You're accused? driving down the highway. That's not a crime. A That's unlawful. Vehicle. I do have a license plate on my vehicle. You do not. That's a plate on my vehicle, right? It's not a registered plate, sir. Right, but this isn't your property, and I'm not a slave. Equating the requirement for a license plate to slavery has got to be the height of ignorance, in my opinion. And to top it all, this guy actually does have a driver's license, so just consider anything he does from now as, well, LARPing. 
I, no one called you a slave. But that's what you're doing by no, pursuing I'm because right now, right now, right now, the motor vehicle code doesn't speak about it. The motor vehicle. Look, code under duress, I'll give you my license. Under duress. Perfect. That's fine. Under threat, duress, and coercion. Thank you. Under threat, duress, and coercion. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll make this thing that. I need the one card. Don't get out. Be be nice. Just be nice, Marcus. I am. And just say, I do not consent to contract with you. I'm a living soul created by God. I have the right to travel in my own co private capacity. I am in my private capacity. This should really be common sense, but if you want to stop cops from reaching for their weapons, then I would do as the officer said and stop reaching around inside your car. Right now the officer... Right now the officer just pulled his baton out. Officer, what's your name, sir? There's an officer to my right, he just pulled his baton out for no reason. Okay, let's start writing this down. I'm taking notes, Marcus. Okay. Matthew Barber, right, what's his... Uh... Stop reaching around, okay? Yes, sir. Thank what's your you. name, sir? Sir, you're a public Can official. May I have your name, please? Can you have your name, Where please, they sir? Come? I'm sorry? I need to call their superiors. You need to have them call their superiors. Call, call their superiors if you have to. May I see to. your supervisor, please? Sorry? May I have a supervisor on the scene, please? What's your name, sir? You know, it's kind of funny. Soft sits are constantly in my comment section calling me and my subscribers sheep, telling us to think for ourselves and do our own research. But we are not the ones reading from pre-prepared scripts or being coached on what to say over the phone on traffic stops. <laughs> My last name is Bonner. None, uh, your, your full name? Can I have your name, please? Can I have your name, please, sir? Bonner is the last name, sir. Yeah. The full name, please? My last not the name, title. Sir. The full name, please? My last name is Bonner. My badge number is 61, sir. No. Your first name, please. You're required to identify yourself to the public. Yes, your first name, please. Your last name is a title. It's a surname. It's a title of a trust. I need your full name, sir, please. May I please have your full name, sir? Please. <laughs> Officer number 61 is refusing to identify himself. <laughs> sir, may I have your name, please? I'm, I'm being polite. I just would Corporal like... Corporal Fleming. Corporal Fleming. You'd like for uh, them to a, show you identification. May I have your name, please? Corporal. That's a title. That's a title. That's your first name? Yep. Your first Fleming. name is Corporal? F-L-E-M-I-N-G. Okay, he's... No. He identifies his name as Corporal Fleming. That's his first name, he claims. Corporal well, Fleming. Okay. That's a nice bit of trolling there. And yes, it is funny, actually, because this cop has already identified himself as much as he needs to per his department's policy. Look up the rest of his details in your own time. In fact, you've got a smartphone. Use it. Where are they from? What department? What department, sir? What department, oh. sir? He's refusing <laughs> to identify the department. Not to worry, you'll be seeing that department up close from the outside and inside, specifically the jail, very shortly. Tell him you need to talk to the supervisor. You need to talk to the supervisor. May I please have a supervisor, please? Above the corporal? Oh, fuff. You have a corporal on scene. So if another supervisor does come, what happens when that supervisor doesn't agree with you? Do we call another supervisor? What happens after that? Do you see where I'm going with this? We hit above the corporal. Who do I ask for? Their super, his supervisor. May I please have your supervisor, sir? Corporal Fleming is my supervisor. Corporal Fleming, may I please have your supervisor? You can ask the supervisor to call them and come in on the call. Yeah, ask them. They can call. He can call us. Corporal Fleming, may you please call your supervisor, sir? I'm being polite, sir. I don't, I'm not. What is I, you looking for? Uh, I, I'm not trying to be rude with you, sir. What are you looking for, sir? Uh, your supervisor? I am a supervisor. Can you please call your supervisor? 
many not, supervisors do we need? Well, not we need? yet. Well, someone that's need something specific. Well, I need I need someone that's gonna not violate anybody's inalienable rights as okay, a man or woman. The three officers that are here on scene, none of us are violating your rights. You are though. Mm -hmm. The motor okay. vehicle code it doesn't constitute a crime. There's no victim or damages. So, Sir, do you have a specific question? That, what department are they from? Two other officers. Which, no one's violating low, rights. Lower Providence. I'm pulled over, so you're already violating my lights. I'm in a custodial arrest, and you didn't read me my Miranda rights. I'm in a custodial arrest, and you didn't read me my Miranda rights. That's deprivation of rights. No, it's not. The police only need to Mirandize you if they intend to interrogate you under custody. That's not the case here. They only ask you for the details you are legally required to provide, which, after a bit of whining, you eventually gave. I need full names. Is this uh, uh, Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's uh, Lower Providence. We have officer number 60, officer number 61. Uh, naturally, they probably followed me from the courthouse. Probably. And then now they want to stalk and harass me. No, that's not the definition of stalking and harassment either. It's their job to check registration plates against the database. You have a private plate on your car that isn't coming back as valid. So they stopped you. End of discussion. Pulled out baton. Uh, Corporal Fleming pulled out his baton. Uh, I believe he's put it back. I can't tell if he still has it in his to hand or not. To intimidate you. What's the date today? The 28th? Yeah. Corporal Fleming. Mm -hmm. Corporal Fleming. We want his first name. Can I have your name? Right now, All right, yeah. Hey, Mr. Ross. Yes, sir. Uh, um, my name's not Mr. Ross. It's which, What do you Cross. want me to call you? My Marcus, sir. Marcus. Okay, hey, Marcus. Yes, sir. So this vehicle is registered out of South Carolina. Yes, sir. RG0823A is expired. Do that's you have a that's not true. It is true. I just trained I'm just letting you know, okay? How, Do you how, have a current registration card from another state? Like, is this registered in Pennsylvania as well or just South Carolina? I don't understand what you mean. So the vehicle is registered in South Carolina. Okay. It's expired. I don't it's understand. Her, can you tell her to stop talking so I can have a conversation with sure. you? She's uh, in, just so you can hear what I'm sure. saying. I don't. Good idea. Neither of them are of any help. They only tell him to ask dumb, irrelevant questions anyway. He needs to hang up on these morons. No, I'm listening. I'm taking notes. Good for you, man. Sorry. Sir. So you're it's driving okay. the vehicle. The plate that's on here isn't a real plate, okay? You, you need the plate. It is registered in South Carolina, but it's expired. I'm asking you, do you have this vehicle registered in Pennsylvania or another state? No, it's registered in... In South Carolina. I believe so. Yeah, but it's expired, meaning you didn't renew that registration in South Carolina. It's a new vehicle. But it's expired. It expired in August, okay? I just got the vehicle. That's what I got the plate in August. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Plate expires August 23rd, 2021. You see that on the paperwork in the enemy? 821. Is that the, that's the temporary? What's that? That's the temporary tag? Can I step out? Yeah, you can step out. Come on out. Should I? That is contacting with them, Marcus. I'm sorry? Because I have the plate. Okay. I'll take a look at it. Should I step out and get the plate? Just take the ticket if they want to fight you. Just take the ticket. You can deal with it in court. Don't argue with men with a gun on the side okay, of the I'll road. Just park, I'll just Marcus, park the car. No one's arguing with you? Yes. Okay. Well, I actually would like to talk to you about something. If you could step out, that would be great. Okay. Can I yeah, it's fine. You can pull into the spot? That's fine. No, you're good. Just leave it here. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not sure why they're get, trying to get me out of the vehicle. They are trying to get me out of the vehicle, he says. Yet he volunteered to get out of the car himself until the person on the phone threw doubt into the mix. But he's not a sheep. He thinks for himself, this guy. I'm asking you to step out so I can have a conversation with you. That's all. We're having a conversation yeah, right now. Is there a reason I need to step out? Yeah, your vehicle smells like marijuana, okay? That's not true. No. So, my question to you is, very simply, do you have a medical marijuana card for the state of South Carolina or the state of Pennsylvania? The vehicle doesn't smell like marijuana, so I don't smoke okay. marijuana. Well, exactly. Because you don't smell it, that doesn't necessarily mean that... Yeah, but I don't smoke marijuana. Does he have a, is, does he have a license to smell for marijuana? I mean, how does that work? Here's... 
I didn't know there was such a license. All you need is a nose, I thought. It's a very distinctive smell. My mother is 84 and she's never touched a drug in her life, but she knows what it smells like. So if she knows, I think this cop would know. Here's, here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to call for a narcotics canine to come to the scene. We're going to smell I don't know. I don't consent to that. But you don't need to consent to it. I'm I do. I'm telling you what the I law do. tells me I can do here. The law, that's not, that's codes. It's code okay. policy. Do you smoke cigars? I don't smoke cigars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do smoke cigars. When was the last time you smoked a cigar? I'm not offering testimony, sir. All right. All right. So here's what I'm going to have happen. Do you have a ticket? I'll take, I'll take your, your gonna, ticket and I won't drive. The ticket. Just pointing out that he said drive. He won't drive. Just thought I would mention that because words, as we all know, are important to soft sits. And now he's on camera saying he drives. Ticket, okay? Because I can smell marijuana. So I'm gonna. I, have a I wasn't icon. smoking marijuana, sir. Okay. And here's here's what can happen. You have two choices. There's no marijuana in the car, so it doesn't matter. All right. So sir. it's really simple. All right. I know where you live, up in Pottstown. Okay. That's not right. You're right down the street. So you have two choices. Hey Jess. What? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not. We're here. We're here. I'll give you your choices here, okay? Okay. I can either. There's no marijuana, it's just so you know, so I don't know what he's talking about. I can either. Have not the the can what? you stop talking for two seconds so I can have a conversation with you? Yes. Ma'am, stop talking so I can have a conversation, please. This guru is a nuisance and she cannot help herself and will not stay quiet for long. He needs to just hang up the call. She's completely misleading him. Nice gold from the cop, by the way. So, here's, here's what your options are. You can allow me to take a look inside the vehicle with a consent to search form, as long as there's no marijuana, or if it's a small amount of marijuana, we can handle that here at the scene, okay? Oh, no. uh, we have a township ordinance. If um, you decline that, which is your right to do so, I'm gonna have a narcotic canine come and smell around the exterior of the vehicle. If the dog tells me that there's marijuana inside the vehicle, or indicates on the presence of narcotics, then I'm going to end up having to impound your vehicle and applying for a search warrant. And then I'm not able to really help you out. I don't really have too much discretion after that. Okay. So you don't seem like a bad I, guy. I understand what you're saying. You seem like you're in a little bit over your head right now. And I'm just giving you the easiest option. Well, this okay. is what I do know. It's your choice, sir. I know that regardless, like your warrant, your dog, I know that there's no marijuana in this car. Okay. Um, Was someone in your vehicle smoking marijuana? No, I don't yeah. smoke marijuana. I smoke CBD. You smoke CBD? Yeah. Okay. All right, so the choice is yours. If you're telling me there's no marijuana and you're confident in that, it'll take me three minutes to just make sure there's not, and then you'll be on your way with a simple traffic ticket or maybe not even a tra simple traffic ticket, maybe just a verbal warning today. I'm leaving it up to you though, but you need to let me know if I can search or if you want to um, have me call for a dog and impound your vehicle. If the this dog is, this is all comments. under duress. Um, so they're gonna try to steal my property. No one's stealing your property. You are I'm stealing my property. everything to you very simply. I'm in private. You're still in my property. And so what, what would you like to do here, sir? Can I uh, call my attorney? Legal entrapments and unlawful crime. Legal, legal entrapments and unlawful crime. What's that? Legal entrapments and unlawful crime. All crimes are unlawful, just an FYI for the future. And no, this is not legal entrapment. This is you driving illegally and a few other things, which we will get to soon. So, uh, so you, have, you have two choices, okay? It's real simple. You can either let me search with a consent form, which is your right to say no, or I'm going to ask for a dog to come here and smell around the vehicle, okay? If the dog huh? comes here and smells around it, and I'm telling you, I can smell it because I'm standing here. If the call dog no, stands here and smells it's it, not then marijuana. I have to take your car and apply for a search warrant. It's not marijuana. So you're saying it's CBD? It's not that big a deal. I have discretion right now. If you make it a search deal. warrant, I don't have too much discretion. Does that make sense to you, sir? This is Matthew Barber speaking to you. Can uh, she stop talking for two Matthew, seconds? She was just trying to identify you, sir. Okay. I'm yes, Matthew Barber, sir. With you, not a person who I have no idea who it is on the This is my private member association. Yeah, nobody cares about your private members association. You should have just called your real attorney instead of these clowns. Um. So, Mr. Crawford, they're trying to make it a false accusation. Uh, can I call my attorney, please? No, you can't call your attorney. Right? I have a right to call my attorney. <laughs> you can call your attorney all you want. He'll explain to you the exact same thing I just explained to you. Okay, uh, I would like to call him. I mean, okay, step out and call him. 
You're, look, Why do I have to step out of camera here? Because we're going to end up searching your vehicle one way or the other. Okay? Uh, uh, so under under your, duress unlawfully. With your consent, we can do it here at the scene or I can apply for a search warrant. It's totally up to you, sir. So I'm giving you the opportunity now to make that decision as a, as a free man traveling on the interstate. Okay? Nice. The cop's getting in on the old soft seat lingo. I like that. Let's listen to that one again. As a free man I'm sorry. Traveling on the interstate, okay? That was awesome. I love it when cops play them at their own game. I should make a compilation of cops trolling soft sits. Okay. What did you say? I'm, I'm a living soul. Well, I'm sorry. I'm you, sorry. As a living uh, can you soul repeat traveling that? on the interstate, As a man. I'm living. You make that decision right now. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. Um, what articulable crime did you have? Uh, You're driving down the road without a license plate. And you have a I warrant from the judiciary. And I can smell marijuana. Did you contact the judiciary to get a warrant to stop me for that? First. Really, a warrant for a traffic stop. You guys really do live in another reality. Imagine for a second though how impractical that would be. You see a traffic infraction, but before you can make the stop to give the ticket or even a warning, you need to make a call to a judge, and that judge would need to be on standby. In fact, there would need to be a team of judges on standby to take these calls. You know, their version of reality is so impractical, it hurts. Okay. I'm just asking a question. Yours. I'm asking a question. Go ahead. What's your question? Did you have... Do I have authority to stop you for driving No, no, no. The That's not what I asked you. What I asked you is, do you have a signed search have... warrant from a judiciary before yeah, you stopped me? Before you stopped me. No, before you stopped me. I'm a sworn police officer driving through, you're driving through our But you turn on your emergency lights. You turn on your emergency so lights. So we're emergency? going around in circles here. Welcome to the world of sovereign citizens, I guess. Six, 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 six. May I have my lawyer? Should I give him consent? Come on. No. You said no? Like, I would... Should I call my attorney? Should I call my attorney? Look, I'm... I'm... Go ahead. Sir, put, he's putting his hand in my car. We're not making this into anything more. Okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for you. Go ahead. Step out, please. You can report all you want, okay? Are you okay, Marcus? Yeah, let me put a mask on because they don't have That's any of their masks on. You can put your mask on. Can you put your Marcus. mask on, please? Yes. Marcus. Yes. Yes. I can hear him. Do you have any weapons on you, Mark? No, I don't have any weapons right. on me. Can you just step now that turns out to be not the case, but more on that at the end of the video. Can you step out real quick, please? You can record all you want. No okay. one's taking your cameras from you, okay? Just do me a favor, put your hands right here for a minute. Just put your hands right there. I'm just making sure you don't have any weapons on you with your big bulky jacket, okay? okay. Is that a bullet in your pocket? Sorry, I was just in court. Okay. What is it? Why would your there pocket? be a bullet in my pocket? That's what I'm asking it's you. It's a battery. It's a battery? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I don't have any no. weapons. I have camping gear in my okay. car. Perfect. Just step back here. So, along with the private plate on his car, there are these two stickers. One says, not for hire exemption levy, which is wrong. He doesn't need to be for hire for the state to regulate his vehicle. And he is not exempt for the same reasons. And then there's this notice, which is too blurry, but it's probably more of the same rubbish. The black police car, everything's on camera, okay? You can just stand right here. You can record all you want, okay? Yes. Right here. Right here. Where? Just stand right here in front of the police car. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. You're on camera too, okay? Have the private members association members given up on him then, do you think? Letting his call go to uh, voicemail. Yeah. Four, Everything's eight, fine. Four, You're not going to get hurt. Nine, nine, okay. Nine, okay. Four, I just don't, nine, I just don't. Zero, eight, three, I don't trust you guys. Okay, no problem. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Andre, I'm being illegally searched right now. Uh, unlawfully. You'll get these back at the conclusion of the stop, okay? okay? I'm being illegally searched right now, unlawfully. Uh, I have it all on video. Uh, they turned their emergency lights on, committed a felony without a warrant from a judiciary. And then they pursued me on the highway, not speeding, over my private plate when I wasn't in commerce. Uh, and I'm not a passenger car. 
with 10 or more uh, passengers according to the motor vehicle code that they're pulling me over for. Yeah, you're obviously not reading the correct vehicle code. Try looking up the motor vehicle code of the state that you're in and then maybe give the 10th Amendment a good read. That they say is a warrantable offence. Uh, I gave them the... Where's my wallet? My wallet? It's still in the car? Except for this here, okay? okay. Could you grab my wallet for me, please, sir? So, is it just CBD inside the vehicle, sir? Yes. All right. A lot or a little? Uh, about a gram, maybe. Okay. But I'm not offering any testimony. It's fine. Oh, uh, you're doing this against my Miranda rights. That's you right. Remember Miranda rights. What's this for? This is a consent. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. I mean, That's I'm not. Fine. I'm not going to give you any written. I'm not signing any contracts with you. If it's you want to, if you want to unlawfully search, you can. But I don't give you permission. My consent. Are you okay? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna force contract. They want me to sign something, but. Don't sign anything. If you sign, put VC above your name. Okay. They can force you to sign it anyway. So they can't force you into contract. VC means under duress. Okay. Yeah, he knows. So just say or sign under duress then. Not that it matters. They had probable cause to search your vehicle. But yeah, Sovsits love their Latin terms. It makes them feel smart. And yeah, VC or V coactus is a Latin term meaning having been forced or having been compelled. It's 2017. Is that what the paperwork said? Yeah. Marcus, tell them you're in your private capacity, buddy. Yeah, I'm not in commerce, I'm in private capacity, sir. Yeah, we know, you've said that a million times now. If your word salad meant anything, lawyers would be using your arguments, and they're not, so. Oh, there it is. Wait, what is that under my wheel? Is it my wallet? Oh, did you guys put that under there? We did, so you didn't- Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I guess I, I thought I dropped it, but they have some type of thing under my wheel. Some type. I'm taking notes and we're recording. What is your full name, sir? Fleming. I'm sorry. -E first, first name. Corporal. First, first name. Corporal. That's a title. Right. Is that the name on your birth certificate? You don't need the name on my birth certificate, sir. My name's so, Corporal Fleming. Okay, That's he's right. he's hiding behind a title that creeps in a stoffel. So because he didn't verbalize his full name, which he is not required to do anyway, you think this creates an estoppel? Yeah, good luck with that. He needs to. He needs to. Show ID to you. Ask them for ID. Can I ask for uh, ID, please? Hey, Mr. Um, Cross. You have Marcus or Mr. I'm Cross? I'm not a title. Okay. If you want to save us time, okay, and, and be on your way faster, you can sign this consent to search form, okay? This says wow. we can take a look inside the vehicle. Okay. I'm going to do it under duress. That's fine. Do it under duress if that's how you I feel. Don't sign. What did you say? I wouldn't sign. I would on with VC, put VC on it. But VC. Okay. On contracts. Okay, never mind. Don't sign it. The last thing this guy needs right now is these two idiots disagreeing with each other. They're giving him terrible advice as it is. I wonder how much money he paid these two morons. We learned that together. We oh, VC. Okay. This. I wouldn't sign anything. Yeah, I mean, they, they, gotta, they gotta do it. Uh, it's VC. I didn't even put my signature on it because I don't consent. He's gonna do what he's gonna do anyway, so. You do not sign a contract okay. that you are not willingly, voluntarily, and with fair consideration going into, Marcus. I know. I know how it goes. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's your choice. Yeah, I put VC. I'm not signing. I don't. I don't consent. They're gonna do what they're gonna do anyway. They're gonna extort me because that's what they always do. There it is. There it is. There's that persecution complex raising its ugly head. All sovsits have it. Nothing is ever their fault. If the police would just leave them alone to drive illegally, they would be just fine.
There's no we in the car anyway. Are you the living man? Did you tell them that? Yeah, I'm the living soul, the living man, <laughs> traveling in my private capacity. They said uh, K911. Okay. Sign all rights reserved. Okay. So, Is Mr. That full Cole, sign? just so you know, you're not free to leave right now. Okay. Um, okay. I'm detained. under a custodial arrest. You're not under custodial arrest. You're being detained right now. Yeah, you're but you already leave. stopped me and put your lights on to stop me. It is okay. under the code. So it's I'm custodial just arrest. So you know, okay. Um, we have a canine coming. They're going to do an exterior sniff around the outside of the vehicle. All right. I don't consent. No. You don't have to consent to an exterior sniff. Okay. You don't consent to be stopped. My God. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They need to make their here, money somehow. You can stand right here in front of the camera. Okay. They need to make their money somehow. Play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. What is the crime that you are being charged with to detain you? Hey, which what crime am I being charged with to detain me? What's that? What crime am I being charged with to detain me? You're being detained right now for a traffic violation, and the result of the traffic violation is we can smell the marijuana coming from the vehicle. You don't have a medical marijuana card, okay? So. Canines here. They're All right, that's, their that's, thing. that's that's not true. And then you'll either be free to leave or not free to leave. Okay. Right, it's not true. I, I did have a medical marijuana card, but you do have it. Where is it? I said I did have one. I don't okay. live in Pennsylvania. All right, no problem. You're gonna give them contract. Uh, I don't consent the contract, right. sir. I don't consent. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get in front of the camera. So I guess I'll just say this for the camera. Uh, Marcus, my name is Marcus. I'm a living soul created by God in a man's body traveling in my private conveyance. These officers unlawfully pulled me over and are making false accusations. So you keep saying, but the place to fight those accusations or charges is in court and not on the street. When will subsets learn? Detective Crop. Hey, what? Hey, that's crazy. Detective Crop's here. That's that's funny. Because, yeah, because he's involved in my case, and that's where I was just leaving from. And they're trying to not. And I served them a notice of sworn statement, and it's funny that he's on the scene. That's so funny. He can't do that. Well, you did ask for more officers to attend the stop when you requested the supervisor's supervisor. Remember. So maybe he's, well, you know, that supervisor you were asking for earlier. You cannot have it both ways. Is that Detective Crop? Is that Detective Crop? What's that? Is that Detective Crop? Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Is that Detective Crop? Is that, is that Officer Crop? Uh, oh, it looks like him. You followed from the courthouse, huh? I don't know. Who is that? That's the canine officer. What is his name? He has his canine partner that's trained to detect narcotics. What is his name? I don't know his name. We'll get it for you. Okay. I don't know his name? What? Yeah, I need, I need, I need he needs to be okay, properly identified. No problem. I need, I need it. I need it now. Matthew Barber. This is, yeah, Officer Matthew Barber. Repeat this to give. This is, uh, Mr. Bonner. He didn't identify his name. He didn't identify his name. And this officer didn't identify his name. And they said that is not crop. Tell them, can you appoint the fiduciary? What a beautiful pooch. Go do your job, boy. Or girl. I'd like to appoint you, uh, I'd like to appoint you, sir, fiduciary trustee. What's that? I'd like to appoint you fiduciary trustee. Of your state. Of my state. And you will be liable for any bonds or, or damage or anything. Sure, no problem. Sure. Oh, so he, he accepts. Okay. Okay, so this, yeah, sure, no problem, from this cop has just created an unbreakable contract for these offsets. Yes, a verbal nonchalant, yeah, sure, no problem, is enough for them, yet they require a signed contract for the law to apply to them. I know, I know, it's crazy. Oh, so he, he accepts. Okay. That's fiduciary trustee. They're trusty trying hard, but there's nothing in my car. So, please don't scratch the paint. Since 
we're listening to this, we can put out sworn testimony ourselves. Okay, so that's where the video ends. So unfortunately, we do not see the arrest. But RT did look up his case and he found that he was arrested for make slash repairs, selling etc. offensive weapons, use in possession of drug paraphernalia, driving an unregistered vehicle and improper display of plates. And it looks like he will be back in court on the 6th of April 2022. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching guys. Take care and I will catch you in the next video.